you're Capricorn. Welcome to Saturated in Love, where we dive deep into the vibration of love. Hope all is blessed in your world. Thank you, Holy Spirit, on behalf of the Capricorn Collective, that's Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Let's gather an archetype that you might be facing, okay, or dealing with in the coming weeks. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for dear Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Anybody interested in knowing where their natal placements are, feel free to uh, check out Cafe Astrology. If you don't know the exact time of your birth, your rising sign could be off, but other than that, you'll be good to go. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Oh, dear Capricorn could be dealing with an Aries out there in the collective. A magician. That could be you or them and an addict. Woo. So somebody Capricorn who always manifests the other person because that's what the magician is doing. Now, the addict could be the magician as well. Could be the same person. Let's not get it twisted, especially if it's a Gemini. Oh, it's a Capricorn. <laughs> uh, but this person is definitely manifesting their beloved emperor here with the Aries vibes, okay? We have an Aries, a magician, and an addict. If it's not an actual Aries, the Aries energy is that of a starter, an initiator. This is somebody who always gets what they want, somebody who tries their hardest, their darndest to make things happen. Somebody could be addicted to loving you, Capricorn. They, co they continuously manifest you in their life is what this could be. Let's get your energy up top, your person to the middle, and the overall outcome between you both at the end. Thank you, Holy Spirit. What's going on here? Somebody's addicted to loving you. Very passionate about you, addicted to you, always wishing you back, calling you back in. You could be done with this person, but they always have these kind of rope and chain on you. Nine of Wands is in your energy. The Four of Wands, the Queen of Swords, and the Two of Wands. I feel like you gave somebody a try. You could have tried to even marry this person or you could have been married to them before, okay? But it looks like somebody had to get cut out, but now you're revisiting this person, okay? Strategizing, planning. Somebody wants the other in their life, okay? Now, again, I feel like you tried, you gave it your all, you faced trials and tribulations with so-and-so, okay? I don't think it worked out. That four wands had come out in the reverse. <laughs> um, but just looking at it now, I just see here that you guys are still in talks. You're still in communion. There's somebody who still wants more of their dear Capricorn, even though you've tried again. I feel like you tried, but it's like when you want to walk away, this person doesn't allow you to do so. Every time you try and go, something keeps calling me back, me back. Mm -mm -mm, I need you in my life. Okay? Every time you try and leave, something keeps calling you back. All right? Like an addict. The sun is here in your person's energy because, of course, you are their destiny and wish fulfillment. You bring out their inner child. Five of Pentacles, yep, you could have shut this person out of your life. Now, Page of Pentacles, they talk about opportunity or chance to reconnect. Somebody out there also tries to get with you, Capricorn, under the guise of, like, working together or uh, just being a friend, like they'll ask you for a favor, like a random thing, like, hey, do you know someplace I could get this done at? It's like this person who just wants to talk to you for the sake of talking to you. Somebody who wants your attention for the sake of getting your attention. This is what the ma ma blah. I'm getting excited now. This is what the magician does, okay? Um, they're very crafty. This person kind of always brings you back. It could be, again, um, somebody you work with or you have some type of connection to, but they won't completely leave your life, okay, for whatever reason. The hermit is in their energy as well, so I feel like this person had no choice but to go in, soul search, Try and see how they could get you back. I feel like, again, you were done with this person. You gave them the Queen of Swords cut out, okay? You told them to kind of poof, be gone. But right now, you are also still looking at your crystal ball, seeing, hmm, if this person does have a place in your life, can it still work? There's somebody you kind of go back and forth with, okay? Again, you took this person very seriously a time or two. But, you know, you felt like, for whatever reason... It was too difficult, nine of wands, right? You hurt yourself a lot in this process trying to get with this person, also trying to please this person. 
Oh, but they're back. They're back. They won't let go. They feel like it's destined between you with the sun here. Okay. So even if you shut this person out, Capricorn, they're still around. They're still going to try and manifest you. Um, they're still quite frankly addicted to loving you. Okay. Now, overall outcome for you both. I do have the two of cups coming right out. So soulmate energy, your story is not done. You two. Okay. There's a definite knowing that you guys are not done with this romantic connection. And we have the six of cups right after it. Oh my God, this person's meant to be in your life right now. Cycles, cycles with this person, big cycles. Okay. But abundance, king of pentacles, honey, Harrow, Capricorn, you're all over this, okay? When you guys get back together, you'll feel very successful. You'd feel like you won, like you finally arrived. It won't be as difficult as it used to. And three of pentacles. You're definitely collaborating with this person again, all right? This is um part two. <laughs> Part two, for someone out there, I just got part 29, you know what I'm saying? It's cray cray. Somebody could be 29 years old, but, hmm. All right, let's get your lover's oracle. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for dear Capricorn. Three of pentacles collaborating with these people that they tried it with before, but these people keep manifesting them back. Why? What is this all about? I got sacred union and I'm going to get one more. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I know it's sacred because I see, um, I'm telling you, the two of cups and the six of cups. This is past life soulmate relationship here. All right. Very nurturing and stabilizing energy. It's like timing was everything. Okay. And now divine timing is here. That's why they're able to manifest you back into this equation. Your first oracle says sacred union, Capricorn, honor and treasure your relationship for it is truly sacred. As well as you have these angel wings. The past is now behind you. Release it and embrace new possibilities. A new path is now available to you. Follow it with faith. Look at this. The past is now behind you. The past where you hurt yourself so much in this situation where you had to self-sacrifice too much. That's now behind you. Now you can have an intelligent conversation of how to move forward with clear boundaries that you set in place to avoid having your heart have to go on the mend. Ozzy Capricorn, a mature loving, a coming together when, when you both can handle it. Your person having gone within the hermit could be a Virgo you're dealing with. Soul searching could be a Leo you're dealing with, with the sun here, a Virgo, another Capricorn, a Taurus here. You guys, Jew guys, okay, if you are single, whoo, Lord, if you are single, Capricorn, I want to let you know what you can look forward to. Holy Spirit, you know who's watching. What's coming in and love for the singles out there? But I do feel like somebody is an addict for Dear Capricorn. This is likely somebody you know, somebody you try to um, make it work with, somebody it feels very troublesome with. But this is somebody who's going to turn over a new leaf, somebody who is afraid of being shut out from your life. See, obstacles. Even if you're single, you're going to be facing these obstacles, Capricorn. It makes the reward more sweet. <laughs> All right, so facing obstacles, feeling like, you know, you're doing too much to try and connect with people, but then new love, new love is on the horizon, okay? So singles, if you are facing obstacles in your love life, if you feel like, where is your soulmate, right? If you feel alone, if you feel like you're always giving the most, hoping the most, wishing the most, present the most, new love is coming that can match you. That won't leave you feeling any type of way but satisfied because, hello, once we uh, let divine timing, you know, play out, that means that we're trusting an angel to actually provide our next love. Heaven is only going to send something heaven sent, okay? 
Oh, the Capricorn. Your heart and soul oracle reads, every challenge provides an opportunity to discover a, a deeper meaning to life. Each challenge can be a gateway to something greater. Use your intuitive and creative powers. Many solutions exist. Move beyond fear and you'll discover that there are no limits apart from the limits that we ourselves have placed. Move beyond fear. There are no limits. Because you gave somebody a try a time of two or three or 29 doesn't mean that they're not prepared to love you today, profoundly, truly. It doesn't mean that this person hasn't evolved and broken out of the, ch the chains of addiction, right? And into something more powerful, more heavenly, more blessed. I feel like somebody's not going to use their old tricks to get you back. Okay, so if sex was a thing that always uh, pulled you back to them, I don't feel like they're going to come that way anymore. Pause. Okay, <laughs> I don't feel like that's going to be their main approach to getting you back here. The magician is using a new trick. It's a new love. It's a different type of per um, feeling, even if it's the same person. All right. So reviving your relationships. Where are the collective being pointed which direction is the collective being pointed into? Thank you, Holy Spirit. It is 2 a.m. as I do these readings. So please excuse me if I'm not speaking the best proper English that you're used to. Oh, dear Capricorn, higher purpose, okay? There's a higher purpose for this connection. There was a higher meaning to the reason why you guys went through so many obstacles, Dear Capricorn, if the reunion is meant to happen, it shall be sweet. It shall be sweet. All right. For many of you, it's going to be the same person, but a new song. Oh, Zach Capricorn, and I'm going to give you a wild offering before we part. Holy Spirit, this is about anything at all that dear Capricorn needs to know. A soulmate getting their wish fulfillment by getting their Capricorn back. A new love that will serve a higher purpose this time around for dear Capricorn if they claim it. What else do they need to know? Thank you, Holy Spirit. Dear Capricorn, it says direction. Look, you are being pointed in the right direction. Lord, please show me the right direction right now. Please bring a sign and a miracle that gives clear direction. May I hear the promptings of my own body. And if for some reason I'm about to head the wrong way, please stop me. Look, when this person comes hocus pocusing at your door, full of passion for you, my dear Capricorn, it is safe. It's going to be a new love presented, even if it's from the same person. I love you all for watching. Be blessed. <laughs> Peace.